Good morning. And it's also a little breezy, at least the winds have picked up just slightly here as we're on the bridal path in central Phoenix. And yes, April, I've got to uh, unfortunately tell you the news that 2023 is expected to be the hottest summer ever recorded here in Phoenix, breaking the record set back in 2020. Now, as we come to a close, as the month of August is just a few days away as the end of the month, the National Weather Service folks, they go by climatological summer. So summer for them is rapidly up when they take a look at records and that's why they can say pretty uh, definitely that this is going to be the hottest summer ever since they started keeping records back in the 1800s. So we're out this morning. We're talking to people out and about trying to get a little exercise. We of course have been asking them about what they think about this brutal heat and let's face it we're all miserable. Yeah. How would you describe the summer of 2023? Brutal. Just brutal. Yeah we've lived here all our lives and you know of course I'm older but uh it's just it's been miserably hot. Yeah, so I don't know I don't know how these guys get on roofs and fix roofs and mow the yards and do everything that has to be done, but uh, it's been terrible. It's just, What's your key to surviving this summer as we come to a close? And we're all hoping for better news in September. Uh, my couch and a glass of wine. <laughs> I like his thinking, minus the wine, of course, this summer. Uh, Mike Radcliffe, he is out walking this morning with his wife. Now, when we talk about stats so far this year, we have reached 115 or hotter 21 times, including yesterday when we got to 117. So if you were out and about yesterday and you were like, this is hot, it is humid, well, it actually tied the record for the hottest August day in Phoenix's history. And I'm not done with the crazy stats because we also just reached kind of another dubious distinction. 50 days at 110 plus for the year. The average is 21 days. So we're inching closer to 2020's record of 53 days. And I know I keep throwing a lot at you, but unfortunately, it's not just heat records we're breaking this summer, as I found out with Alex Young, lead meteorologist from the National Weather Service. At least at Sky Harbor, they've only gotten six hundredths of an inch. So June through August were the driest on record. Second driest is 0.23 uh, inches. Yeah, driest and hottest on record. That's how you can sum up the summer of 2023. So let's look ahead to September, right? Let's turn the page. Unfortunately, the folks at the National Weather Service says that their long-term forecasting for the month of September, although we see a cool down this weekend, it looks to be hotter than normal. Also, though, maybe a little bit wetter. They say average to slightly above average participation. Particip particip Precipitation <laughs> keeps getting to me is what they're expecting for the month. So, guys, uh, we have seen the cross country. I can't even get my words out. Blame it on the heat and the pregnancy. Um, but we have seen cross country runners out here this morning. Uh, they have finished and probably in school, uh, but they were out bright and early because, let's face it, that's really the only time you can get your exercise in. Oh, yeah. You have to do it so early. Oh, be All right, safe Callie. out there. Yeah.